what's up everyone welcome back to the channel loser here thanks for stopping by happy friday by the way hopefully you guys have a good weekend planned ahead in this video we're going to be doing our 150 uh, ancient shard pulls for shemnaft so we got shemnaft here as a guarantee um yeah i mean she's the first ancient guarantee since christmas and uh, that was for um, uh, nishak um so it's been a while i think plarium's definitely uh cracking down on these um guaranteed events so in any event she's not going to be a huge help for my account because i'm pretty progressed but she is a decent uh damage dealing option um for knight revenant um and if you pull her early she's not bad she's definitely decent um i'm going mainly for 150 ancient because i have plenty of agent shards um they're general value is just not super high in terms of uh, what uh, they're used for in the game nowadays they're kind of like the longer you wait on them the less valuable non-void legendaries are as mythicals become more common um, and honestly like their value in events um, aren't super great I usually pass on most 2x events uh, for ancient uh, ancient shards so they've been stacking up so I don't mind using like half my stash here I can still do um, you know any other uh, event if more uh, ancient shards are needed also there is a very nice summon rush that's happening right now um, that actually gives you 100 percent more value for your ancient shards um, this doesn't mean that using ancient shards for this event is a slam dunk it's not uh, like it's not head and shoulders better than using sacred shards in fact using sacred shards for this event is probably still preferred just because of how low value uh, sacred shards are in champion chase so sacred shards are always good to be used in the summon rush and in this case it's still better than ancient shards but paired with a guaranteed shemnath um and uh, 68 i think it's 68 50 points so 150 um ancient shards probably gonna get me up to this mythical book and to be honest i'm gonna max out this summon rush so it's gonna be 150 ancient shards and then eight sacred shards here uh to max out all this resource so an extra legendary book and two mythical books so mythical books obviously very hard to get in this game and the, the only reason i'm going to max out the uh summon rush is because i have 53 sacred shards so i have 53 sacred shards uh ready to go again been stacking these up um, there's just haven't been very good opportunity to use them so I don't mind using them here for two mythical books um, so yeah let's get started gonna be a lot of pulling on um, this video so let's do it uh, here we also have a boosted event as well and we got Duchess up for grabs which is very good um, on my alt account I don't have her on my main account I have two of her but I would still love her love some more uh, Duchess uh, I might maybe go Elva on my alt account just because for um, Faction Guardians. If I pull a third Duchess, it's better for like empowerment if I go that route. But um, a second Elva gives me some empower, uh, gives me some Faction Guardian options. But here I'm going to go with Duchess. And then for the Epic, it doesn't really matter. So let's go. Let's pull. Good luck to me. My Mercy right now for this account... 60 so that means we will probably hit mercy uh, just before shemnath so we should get two legendaries here okay let's go all right let's see here we go non-boosted race right so it's only 0.5% chance at getting a legendary. Uh, but since we are 60 into Mercy, we should be expecting at least two legendaries. It's actually not ideal for me to get Mercy. Um, uh, on this event, because um, you could save your Mercy, for example, for like a 1 plus 1, an extra legendary event. Um, but in this case, I have to reach uh, Mercy so I can get Shemnath. So I should be expecting uh, two legendaries. So one legendary and then Shemnath. So hopefully the, the one legendary we pull 
we have a 7.5% chance of getting Duchess. And that's kind of how the boosted rates go. It's just not a super insane uh, chance of getting uh, even a 15x champion, for example. So far, nothing. Uh, nothing to really talk about. It's a bunch of rares and not very good epics. Uh, let's see what else we got. Neldor. Hey, Neldor. For this account, I think I do have Neldor already. He's very good for Fire Knight Hard. He's got the freeze, multi-hit freeze, decreased speed. Getting a lot of food in the meantime. Um, so, lots of food. That's good. We do have a training event active right now, so... All right, Romac the high peak looks like it's pretty uh, weak sauce, weak sauce pulls. No legendary so far. Let's see here. We might run out of space before we hit Shemnath. I did try to clear some. I do have um, some uh, level thirty food ready to be ranked up. So should be pretty quick. All right, let's uh, make some space here. We are 40 off from Shemnath. So let's upgrade. Oops. 13. So do that one. Look at that. I don't like how it kind of like randomly gives you like a 20 here. I don't know if anybody knows how to change that. But it's kind of kind of weird, so. There we go. Rank 11 of them. I think that should be enough. 40. Oh, just, just off. Okay, so I'll do these manually. Yeah, instant rank up. Very nice. One of the best. So 40 spots here. Go back in it. Can we pull a legendary before we hit Mercy? That would be so good. If we can pull a legendary like right now and then... Actually, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We'll get a legendary in our mercy. So, all right, all right. Come on. We haven't gotten an extra legendary event. Uh, I think in a couple weeks. So I would expect maybe they give us one. But they've been hammering the ancient shards uh, in terms of events pretty hard uh, lately. So they'll probably pull back on the ancient shard spend. Epic Silesia, she's actually pretty good. One of the only AoE decreased defense champions without needing any books. There's our Mercy hit, Nephril. Oh. And there's our Shemnath. <laughs> so we got Nephril. What was the count on Nephril here? Nephril, Nephril was probably 205. Ancient Shards, so he was our Mercy pull. You know, Nethro's, like, he's really good, right? He has an AoE decrease turn meter and an AoE stun decrease speed, so he's, like, generally pretty good, like, control champion. Problem is, like, his kit's kind of outdated now. Like, this is a four-turn cooldown. It's not 100% chance to land a stun. Um, like, if this should be a three-turn cooldown by today's um, standards, uh, and then this probably, this is probably okay, but if you think about it, Armands has this ability minus decreased speed plus this ability in his in one move and a better version of it because he actually steals a turn meter, not just drops it. So, but Nethro is very good champion if you get him uh, relatively early, especially for faction wars and all that stuff. But for me, he's no good. There's our prize, a Shemnath here. Gonna go in the vault for now, but let's see how much points we have. I think it's 68.50 for the summon rush. Oh, it's not quite 58, 68, 60. Oh, it's about 6,000. Oops. Yeah. For some reason, I was thinking 68.50. Maybe I'll just pull uh, for this mythical book and then I'll save it here. Uh, how much do we need? 4,000? 4, 4,000 points. So I think I'll pull seven uh, sacreds and then I'll finish it off with mystery shards. So let's do that. Make some space first. All right, space made. Let's go. Seven um, sac sacred shards here, non-boosted rates. Uh, 
uh, just to max out the summon rush here. For Sacred Shards, our last Legendary was Razzle Varg. It took us 26 Sacred Shards to get him. We're 5 Shards into uh, since our last Legendary, so this will put us into... If we pull 7, it will put us right at Mercy. So it kind of sets it up pretty good for like a 1 plus 1 if we don't pull a Legendary. So that's 1... two really sad rates here sad rates there well we got legendary that's kind of uh unexpected <laughs> goffred goffred's very very solid i think he's my second one on this account though so he's not going to be a brand new champion or anything but he has a really cool passive here that doesn't require any books um and it basically protects one champion on your team from dying uh, so it it's kind of like uh, Siegfried, Siegfried, the mythical champion, uh, is passive, but then instead of protecting himself, he protects somebody on your team. Um, he also brings AoE stun here, three turn AoE stun, which can be very, very strong, uh, especially for waves and arena and stuff like that. Um, increased defense as well. So he's generally a pretty good champion, he doesn't get a, a lot of love, but uh, his pass is very good, he doesn't require any books, and uh, yeah, he's a good champ. Alright, let's keep pulling. That was kind of unexpected, actually, to pull a Legendary. So 6% chance to hit. And, yeah, back to 94% chance to miss. So <laughs> we're build building up our Sacred Shard of Mercy here. I think we got one more. Uh, let me double check. I think we might have one more pull. Uh, boom, boom, boom. So we're at 9,000. Yeah, let's do one more pull. And then we're going to call her quits here. Can we get Duchess? Can we get Lucky? Nope. Not this time. We did pull two Legendaries on top of Shemnath. So, pretty decent haul here. In terms of overall shard count, you know, we lost half our shards. And we still have 46 Sacred, so we're very, very healthy for any events that pop up. And, of course, we're going to max out our Summon Rush here. We'll finish it off with the Mysteries over the next couple days. But this is a nice haul of goodies. Three legendary books, three mythical books. Happy with that. All right, let's pull on the main account and see how we do over there. All right, here we are on the main account. So let's do the same thing. We're going for basically the same strategy here. We're going to pull 150 ancient shards for Shemnath. And then we'll pull um, from our 43 sacred shard stash here to max out the summon rush for the mythical books. Just in case we ever pull a mythical in the next year or so. All right, so let's get going here. We got 250 Ancient Shards. We got 43 Sacred Shards. Going for Duchess. Third Duchess on this account. Firm. Same thing here. Third Duchess. Same strategy. We're going to max out the Summon Rush here with 150 Ancient Shards and 7 uh, Sacred Shards plus some Mysteries later on. Uh, in terms of overall Mercy on this account with RSL Helper, looking at our Mercy here, we got 14 Ancient Shards. Um, so if we pull 150 Ancient Shards and we don't get a Legendary, that basically puts us in good position for a 1 plus 1 event if one shows up again. Um, because when you pull Shemnath from 150, it doesn't trigger your Mercy. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind. Uh, for the Sacred Shards, we are entering Mercy, so we should maybe have a chance at hitting a Legendary, but we will see. Not uh, super, super hopeful, but if we don't pull Legendary from Sacred Shards, then we are in a good position for a 1 plus 1, which is maybe more likely for Sacred Shards, a 1 plus 1 for Sacred Shards, than it is for Ancient Shards in the near future. Um, yeah, so let's get started here. So best of luck to me, lots of space, let's go. 0.5% chance of Legendary, definitely don't expect a Legendary here outs outside of the guarantee Shemnath. So we got a sea of blues. Even epics are going to be a little bit uh, sparse. 20 blues to start. Love to see it. <laughs> okay. Looking maybe for some empowerment, uh, empowerment candidates for epics. So epics definitely have way more value now since you can empower them. But... Uh, haven't seen anything yet. Shani. 
And the bowhorn. Okay. So I think we're at 50 ancients already and we only got three epics. Duck. Duck is a good empowerment epic. He's very good for Centranos. He's in a lot of stages, it feels like. I think I'd have a I think I should have 60 duck geared up on his account. Kinagashi, lots of this champion, I don't know. I'm not sure if she's any good or he's any good. Oh, we do get a legendary outside of mercy. Lady Kimmy, very nice. I think Lady Kimmy will be a um will be a, a faction guardian. That's good. Building up that faction guardian. I'm all about it. Lady Kimmy is actually a really, really good champion. She was a guarantee a long time ago. I believe she was 150 ancient shards. She's one of the first um, guarantee ancient events. Or maybe even less, maybe 120. Um, but yeah, I regretted not picking her up back then. I just didn't wasn't in a position to pick her up. But she's a great turn meter champion. She has kind of like a pretty big uh, speed aura for Doom Tower, um, which kind of sucks because you kind of want her to like speed all battles or maybe even arena. Um, she's definitely very good for arena with the um, increased speed, increased accuracy to set up your lockout or set up your bomb champion or set up your general debuffer. She also brings decreased speed, decreased accuracy. Um, with the turn meter stuff, um, she's a great turn meter champion. She does bring decreased speed for Hydra, so she does get used in Hydra. She does have block buffs, which is situationally going to be good because it requires uh, the Hydra to have buffs, so she can use the block buffs for um, Hydra as well. Um, but yeah, great champion for, for turn meter stuff. Definitely can be useful in lots and lots of areas. And a faction guardian for me, so very, very good. Let's keep pulling. We still got lots to do. And outside of Mercy, pulling Legendary, I'm happy. So, so we can get, maybe we'll get lucky again. Never know. 0.5% chance only. Torture Helm. You know, I don't even have a Torture Helm built. Those uh, 1 billion, this guy can do, I think, 1 billion damage hits on Hydra. Or am I thinking about somebody else? Maybe I'm thinking about somebody else. Ironclad? Or maybe I'm thinking about this guy, Ironclad. Oh, wow, another legendary. Oh, my goodness. 25x for Duchess. That's only about 12.5%. Um, but, you know, we're maxed out for the Duchess chance. Another champion here, Crypt King Grawl. He can, I believe, solo Ice Golem. He's HP Burner. He has a uh, freeze and control on his... Uh, in his kit as well four turn cooldown though so that's pretty outdated for him decrease attack here freeze yeah i think he can solo ice golem ice golem hard as well but i think he requires some pretty good stats to do it i don't generally have a good use for him right now but he is an hp burn uh champion uh, which means he sees lots and lots of play in this game so if you got him he's definitely useful uh, but yeah that's pretty sweet. We got two legendaries outside of Mercy with the 0.5% chance. So very, very lucky here. Pulling towards Shemnath. And then, yeah, we're going to be guaranteed a Shemnath here. That's pretty sweet. Malkith actually is kind of interesting. He is another uh, buff extender uh, champion, which on the three turn cooldown, which works for those Wixwell teams. So if you got him... He's an option for you, but of course you can build Valerie or Hell Sprite uh, for those Wixwell teams, which works just as good as well. But, uh, yeah, let's keep going here. Sea of Blue, paying some taxes for those golds that we hit. Honestly, pretty good rates. Cannot complain about two legendaries outside of... Oh, wow, another legendary. Holy cow, another legendary. So that's three legendaries from Ancient Shards outside of Mercy. Um, I mean, the, the quality is not... I mean, Kimmy's good and Crypt King's good, but Gamora, Gamoran is not good. But I think I have one of him already, so he's going to be part of another Faction Guardian. So I'm really happy about that. Um, he has an interesting passive here where it's like Revive One Ally... Um, each time an enemy is killed. So I'm not sure how you can make this work, but it's a very interesting uh, passive here. He's kind of like the undead, 
like he kind of brings back the dead right so it's kind of cool look at this like cool animation here coming from the ground around him but he's generally regarded as not very useful um so for now he's going to be a vault guardian um but he's definitely uh you know going to be added to the faction guardian so that's really really nice super pumped about that why couldn't it be another duchess that would have been cool but generally not a super super useful champion but i'm happy to see him for the faction guardians and i think this is shemnath here no shemnath yet so we still have a chance for more legendaries that's insane oh my goodness our rates are insane right now like, these rates would be insane for like a 2x event we're on a no x event wow four legendaries in 150 ancient shards outside of a 2x event just massive massive rates actually so super lucky for us and you know i was a, i was perfectly happy just pulling ancients for shemnath so we got some extra legendaries along the way we're going to be pulling sacred shards as well so we're going to pull seven sacred shards here um like i said we're 11 into mercy so we're going to be heading into mercy here let's see if we can pull uh, some more legendaries here let's go so we gotta pull seven so we're gonna pull down to 40 uh, pull down to 36 sacred shards so our stash will be down to 36 sacred shards but that's plenty for any event it's probably good for two events to be honest mausoleum mage there's our boosted epic sandlash survivor she brings the three turn increase duration for you guys if you need him for wixwell pulling down to 36 we're entering mercy right now so each one of these sacred shards um, should be boosted you can kind of see here should be boosted here we got, we're 15 since our last uh, legendary so each one of these sacred shards is increasing in value uh, in terms of pull rates I almost don't want to hit a legendary just so I can set up for a one plus one We got one more shard after this. All right. All right. Well, we didn't get a legendary, and we're 18 into Mercy. So that sets us up pretty nicely for a 1 plus 1 if it drops in the near future. Uh, there is a 2x Sacred coming next week. Um, I definitely don't want to use um, my Sacred Shard there most likely because i want to capitalize on a one plus one since i'm so deep into mercy um but i could definitely use it there as well but we'll think about it a little bit and uh um it's not 100 percent in stone that it's going to be a 2x uh sacred event next week but uh we'll have to think about it a little bit boom there it is we got all those mythical books all the juicy rewards here we'll finish it off with some mystery shards along the way lots of legendaries here this time filling out our faction war uh faction guardians especially for shadowkin love to see it look at this love to see it guys love to see it love to see it almost there karato if we can pull karato that'll be it we'll max out our faction guards but this is a big boost for our account especially since we use uh harima so harima got a massive boost here today yeah she picked up a bunch of extra stats from the faction guardians so 30 resistance 30 accuracy extra defense um, yeah, so really, really nice to see it. Uh, and I guess Shemnath, yeah, I don't think I have a Shemnath on this account. Yeah, I don't. So Shemnath is brand new. Yeah, pretty good haul, actually. Four legendaries. Um, but anyways, guys, I don't want to create any kind of FOMO for you guys because um, the rates that I got were absolutely insane uh, over, you know, just using Ancient Shards because look at these poor rates right 0.5 percent chance of the legendary so definitely super lucky here pulling legendaries outside of mercy and all stuff you definitely don't expect that from ancient shards um let alone pulling three so anyways guys hopefully you guys enjoyed the video like i said have a great weekend uh, thanks for watching let me know in the comments below if you guys pulled anything cool uh and if you guys have any um special plans for the weekend um but yeah let me know and thanks for watching appreciate your time and i'll see you guys in the next video